good morning today we will discuss how to deal with the two dimensional array how we can perform the matrix addition matrix subtraction and matrix multiplication so first of all i need to understand how we can do the matrix addition and how we can do the matrix subtraction so matrix addition and subtraction is comparatively easy than the matrix multiplication so i'm just starting with the matrix addition first so what is matrix addition whenever you are doing addition of the two matrices you must need to take care what that the both matrix must have the same number of rows and columns for example this is my matrix 1 this matrix 1 having the data for example that is 10 15 20 30 40 60 80 25 and 18 so this is 3 by 3 matrix you can say that there are 0 1 and 2 this are the rows and here you can say 0 1 and 2 this is the column now if you want to make the addition of the two matrix then another matrix must have the same number of rows and same number of columns so both matrix must have the same number of row and same number of column now i am writing here the value that is for example 8 0 5 3 4 2 now i am writing here that is 0 1 and 3 now whenever you want to do a addition of this two matrices again here you can just give the index that is 0 1 and 2 so this is the row index this is 0 1 and 2 this is the column index now i want to add the two matrices so in value of the two matrix so it is very simple you can just take the 0 0 element so at 0 0 the value is 10 10 plus 8 you will get the value that is at the 0 0 that will be 10 plus 8 now 0 1 so at the 0 1 position my value is 15 and here value is 0 so you will get the 15 plus 0 another value is at the 0 and 2 so at the 2 second column 0 row the value is 20 so at the 0 2 you will get 20 plus 5 here 1 0 1 1 1 2 2 0 2 1 and 2 2 at 1 0 you have value 30 plus 3 right so we will do here 30 plus 3 here 40 plus 4 so we will do 40 plus 4 60 plus 2 so we will do 60 plus 2 this is just an index right 80 plus 0 so i will get at the 2 0 location 80 plus 0 then 25 plus 1 at the second row first index 25 plus 1 18 plus 3 so you will get the actual output that will be what 10 plus 8 we will get 18 15 25 30 plus 3 that will be 33 then we will get 44 62 here 80 plus 0 will be 80 25 plus 1 it will be 26 18 plus 3 that will be 21 so you can say that the addition of this two matrix is equal to this value. So the logic is very simple. That is from 0, 0 location to 0, 0 location you can make the addition and you will get the value at the 0, 0 location. So this is the core logic, right? The condition is what? The row. So what we will do? We will get the row 1 and column 1 of first matrix then we will get the row 2 and column 2 for the second matrix if row 1 and row 2 are not equal if column 1 and column 2 are not equal 
then we will simply give the message to the user that the matrix addition is not possible. If row 1 and row 2 are equal, if column 1 and column 2 are equal, then we will simply add the value and we will give the output. So this is the simple core logic. Now I want to develop a practical C program for the same. How we can do? Very simple. We can take one array that will be matrix 1 array. That will be a two dimensional array. So you can say that the maximum we can specify over here that is 10 row 10 columns. Here we will do what? We will take one more array that will be again a 10 row and 10 column. Then what we will do? We will take one more array that will be the matrix addition. Right? So add array and that will be again a 10 by 10. Now after that we will take the row and column of the first matrix from the user. Then we will get the row and column of the second matrix from the user and then we will simply add the both. So how to do this? Let's see practically. Here you can take a one array that is 10 by 10. So maximum 10 row, 10 column that I'm defining over here. You can give 100, 100 also if it is required. Now I'm taking one more matrix that is 10 by 10. Now here you can declare that is mat integer matrix 1 of 10 by 2, matrix 2 of 10 by 2. Now I am taking one more variable that is matrix addition of 10 by 10. So this will be my matrix addition or you can say this is simply add of 10 by 10. I am simply initialize it with the 0. So by default value of the addition matrix will be 0. Now I am taking row 1 for the matrix 1, row 2 for the matrix 2, column 1 for the matrix 1 and the column 2 for the matrix 2. Now we will simply ask to the user and that is what first I am just giving here heading that is matrix 1. Now I will ask to the user enter how many rows you want in matrix 1. So I will ask to the user that enter how many rows you want in the matrix 1. So I will get the row 1. So row, row 1 is referred to the matrix 1 and row 2 is referred to the matrix 2. Now I will ask that how many columns you want for matrix 1. So we will get the value that is column 1. Once it is done, then we can simply do the same for matrix 2 and then we will ask for the row 2 and column 2. So matrix 1 and matrix 2. Now once it is done, we will just put the condition over here. If row 1 not equal row 2, right? It means if the row 1 of the matrix 1 is not equal the rows of matrix 2 or column 1 not equal to column 2. It means either the row are not matching or column are not matching. Then we will simply print the message to the user that matrix addition is not possible. Right? Else we will do the programming, right? So we just want to do the addition if and only if the row and column of the both matrix are match. So here you can say that matrix addition is possible. Now you can simply build and run. So whenever you run this particular program, it will ask you that the enter how many rows you want in the matrix 1. I want the 3 rows and 2 columns in matrix 1. I want 2 rows and 3 columns in matrix 2. Then it will say that addition is not possible. Yes, it is correct. Let me run it again. Now I am writing 2 rows, 3 columns, 2 rows, 3 columns. And it says that addition is possible. Now, here in 
addition is possible i want to write the code right so what we will do we will simply get the value first right for each index so i am writing here i equal to 0 i less than row 1 why row 1 because first we want to get the value of matrix 1 so what we will do we will simply declare here variable that is i and j so what we will do we will just ask to the user enter how many rows then up to number of rows you can run now up to number of columns you can write j equal to 0 j less than column 1 j plus plus now here you can ask to the user enter value of now at which index you want to enter the value so i am writing here enter the value of matrix 1 now i am writing here that is percentage d percentage d so at which i and j you want the value so i am just asking to the user for the index so matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 2 2 2 0 2 1 2 2 like this then you can simply get the value from the user using percentage d and at the address of the matrix 1 you can store the value so we can write here matrix 1 of i of j the matrix 1 is initialized with the mat 1 and matrix 2 is initialized with the matrix 2 and the addition is declared with the variable add so here we will simply write enter the value of matrix 1 you can also do the same for the matrix 2 so we can write what i equal to 0 i less than row 2 and column 2 now here we can write enter the value of matrix 2 and i and j will remain same we can store the value in matrix 2 once it is done now i want to do the addition so what we can do simple you can write my addition of i of j it means at the zeroth location i want the value so here if you look carefully then at 0 0 10 at 0 0 8 then i want the value at the 0 0 that will be 18 right so matrix 1 of i of j plus matrix 2 of i of j will give me the value over here that will be add of i of j so what we can write over here that is add of i of j is equal to matrix 1 of i of j plus matrix 2 of i of j so what happen at the each and every individual index that is 0 0 so both the 0 0 location will be added and it will be available at the add of i of j now i want to display all this right so how we can do this Very simple whenever you want to display this you can write here i equal to 0 i less than number of row i plus plus now you can write another loop that is j equal to 0 j less than column j plus plus now what we can do over here that is printing of the matrix value so i'm just writing here percentage d and space you can print matrix one of i of j and you can simply print the slash n after this so whenever you write slash n it will take the new line you can just copy the same and you can simply change the variable name that print the matrix to print the matrix that is addition and after all this you can simply give the new line so if you write here line break then it will look good now you can simply build and run your program now it will ask me enter how many rows you want in the matrix one i want three rows and three columns in matrix two i also want the three rows and three columns now it is asking me for the value i am writing here 10 that is at the 0 0 location then 0 1 location i am entering 15 if you look carefully over here then i want to pass the same value that is mentioned on the paper that is at the 0 0 it is 10 at the 0 1 it is 15 at the 0 2 it is 20 then you can write 30 40 60 80 25 18 so 
So now matrix one is over. Now it is asking me for the matrix two. So for the matrix two, I'm entering eight, zero, five, three, four, two, zero, one, and three. So these are the three matrix that is 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 25, 18. This is the first matrix. Second matrix is this that is 8, 0, 5, 3, 4, 2, 0, 1, 3. This is the second matrix. And this is the result that is 18, 15, 25, 33, 44, 62, 80, 26, 21. The same result is available over here. You can do for the n number of rows and n number of columns. The concept is very simple. The row and column must be same in the both matrix. Suppose if you are writing here matrix 1, row 2 and column 3. If you are writing here again 2, 3, 2, 3. Then suppose if you are writing the value like this, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, now I am writing here that is 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And if you look carefully, then this is the first matrix. This is the second matrix. And the result is 80. Why? Because 70 plus 10, it will be 80. And here if you do 60 plus 120, then the result will be 120. So this is what the matrix addition is. But here I want to give you two changes. What is? Suppose if it is a three digit number, right, then it is not look properly over here. So how we can do this one thing and second, I want to display matrix one over here. Then I want to display matrix two over here and then I want the result at the last. So how we can do the same thing. So it is very simple. First thing is here you can write percentage 3D. So it will display three digit. Right? This is the first change. Second change is if you want to display matrix 1 and matrix 2 both at the you can say that the both side by side if you want to display then what we can write we can simply cut this particular code and we can paste over here. So matrix 1 and 2 will be displayed over here. So no need to write like this you can simply do this so matrix 1 and matrix 2 will be displayed and suppose if you want to give a title then also you can give the title if it is required now i am executing again suppose if i says that i want a two rows four columns and two rows three columns then it says that the matrix addition is not possible yes it is correct suppose i am writing two rows three columns Two rows, three columns. Yes, it is correct. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And now it looks good. See, this is the matrix 1. This is the matrix 2. That is 70, 80, 90. You can give the space over here if it is required. 10 plus 70, then the value is 80. 40 plus 100, the value is 140. Right. And here you can give the proper spaces after printing all this, you can just give the slash T. So what it will do? It will give the tab between the first matrix and second matrix. So let me give the example again. The same example if you write, then it will look good now. That is 100, 110, 120. So this is the matrix is 1, matrix 1, that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And this is 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And this is the result. So this is all about a matrix addition. Now, suppose if anybody uh, from you ask me that, sir, I want to do a matrix subtraction. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Let me save this particular program as matrix subtraction dot C. So what I need to make the changes? Very simple. Here instead of add, I will declare the variable that will subtraction. Right? One thing. Second, how many rows you want in the matrix 1, matrix 2. Now here you can simply write the message that the matrix subtraction is not possible. 
now we will get the value for the both the matrix and we will display the same instead of addition what we will do we will simply print the subtraction we need to make the changes into the core logic and that will be what instead of plus we will make it here minus now the same thumb rule apply here i need to make it here that is subtraction of i of j same thumb rule apply for addition and subtraction and that is what the number of column in the first matrix and the number of column in the second matrix must be same number of rows in the first matrix and the number of rows in the second matrix must be same that is the simple logic suppose i am entering here 2 by 2 right so it will ask me the value i am writing here that is 100 90 80 70 now i am writing here that is 50 right 60 70 and 80 now if you look carefully over here then the 100 minus 50 the result will be 50 90 minus 60 the result will be 30 80 minus 70 the result will be 10 and the 70 minus 80 the result will be minus 10 so the concept is perfect over here simply we need to just make the changes into the sign and we will get the matrix subtraction so this is all about the matrix subtraction now i want to move ahead and i want to show you how to do a matrix multiplication so whenever you are doing matrix multiplication you must need to understand what that the on which number of rows and which number of columns are required one thing and the second thing that you must need to understand how we can do the matrix multiplication so let me give you first a simple example on the two by two matrix so this is my matrix one my matrix one having the value and that will be a 10 20 30 40 right and i have another matrix and that matrix is matrix number two i have the value that is two three four and five now i want to do a matrix multiplication how we can do please see carefully the number of number of columns in the first matrix so there are two columns and the number of rows in the second matrix must be same right so the condition is what the condition is number of columns in matrix one must be must match with the must equal with number of rows in matrix 2 right so number of columns there are two columns and number of rows there are two rows so there is no issue over here one thing second how we can do the matrix multiplication very simple see here it will take here in matrix 1 your row will be fixed your row will be fixed your column will be changed right so you can say your column will be variable right your row will be fixed your column will be variable in matrix 2 your column will be fixed and your row will be variable right so uh, let me do the example what happened your row fix so your row is this so your row will be fixed so your row is first so 10 into so how we can do this this element is at the 0 0 location right so how we can do this 0 0 multiply by 0 0 it means this 0 0 multiply with the 0 0 but here my row will be fixed and here my column will be here row will be fixed here my column will be fixed so what happened in our case your 0 0 multiply with the 0 0 plus now your row will be fixed it means now second element that will be 20 so your row will be fixed 0 but column will be 1 
multiply with here your column will be fixed that will be that will be your zero and your row will be changed that will be one right so let me give the clear hint about this how we can do this you can just multiply this 10 with the 2 right so this 0 0 element is 10 this 0 0 is 2 so 10 into 2 plus 0 1 means 0 1 so it means 20 right so what happened your 0 1 will be multiplied with 1 0 so which is 1 0 1 row 0 column that is 4 so 20 will multiply with the 4 so what is the ultimate logic about this simple logic see 0 0 will be multiplied with the 0 0 0 1 will be multiplied with the 1 0 it means your row will be fixed in the first matrix and your column will be fixed in the second matrix so this will be multiply with the this and you will get the first value so the value will be 20 plus 10 into 2 that is 20 20 into 4 it will be 80 so 80 plus 20 that will be 20 into 4 it will be 80 so 80 plus 20 10 into 2 20 20 into 4 80 20 plus 80 you will get the 100 at the first position now you want to perform another so how we can do i want a, another element that will be at the 0 1 location this is for the 0 0 right now if you want the 0 1 location over here then what you need to do you need to make again your row fix and you are, here you need to fix your another column right so whenever you are writing the matrix multiplication of 0 0 then your zero row will be fixed and your zero column will be fixed this zero row will be of matrix one and this column will be of matrix two right i will give you one more example so you will be get the clear cut idea for this for example let me give one other example i want see here i got the hundred now i want location over here that is 0 1 right so i want the value over here that is 0 1 it means my 0 row will be fixed of the matrix 1 so that will be 10 20 and i want to fix the first column of the matrix 2 that will be 3 and 5 right so whenever you want the value over here so your one column of matrix 2 will be fixed so this will be fixed that is 3 5 so how we will deal with this simple 10 into 3 so the value will be like what 10 into 3 plus 20 into 5 plus 20 into 5 so 20 into 5 will be 100 and 10 into 3 will be 30 so you will get the 100 at the first location and you will get the 130 at the 0 1 now if you want the value over here that will that will be 1 0 it means one row and zero column so one row of matrix one and zero column of matrix two so how we will do deal with this simple we will make our row fix of matrix one and that will be this why because here one zero i want the element so one zero this row will be fixed this column will be fixed so your 30 will be multiplied with the two and 40 will be multiplied with the 4. So 30 into 2, it will be 60. 40 into 4, it will be 160. So 160 plus 60, you will get the value over here that will be 220. Why 220? Simple. I want the value over here that is 10. It means 1 is matrix 1, 0 is matrix 2. So 1 row of matrix 1 and 0 column of matrix 2 will be multiplied. So, 30 into 2, 40 into 4. So, 30 into 2, you will get the 60. 40 into 4, you will get the 160. 160 plus 60, you will get the 220. Now, I want another element over here and that will be 1, 1. So, which will be fixed? Row 
of matrix 1. So matrix 1, 1 row and matrix 2, 1 column will be multiplied. So matrix 1, 1 row is this. This is 0, this is 1. So this will be multiplied with the 1 column. And this is 1 column. So 30, 40 will be multiplied with the 3 and 5. So 30 into 3, it will be 90. 40 into 5, it will be 200. So 200 plus 90, you will get the 290 over here. So your value will be like this, 100, 130, 220 and 290. So this is my matrix multiplication. Let me give you one more example with the little bit that is you can say that the with uh, not 2 by 2 matrix but with the more number of row and more number of columns. Suppose I have the matrix that is matrix 1. In matrix 1 I have for example 3 rows that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You can say that there are 3 rows and 3 columns I have in the matrix 1. I have another matrix that is matrix 2. In matrix 2, I have that is 2 column that is for example 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So this is my matrix 2. This matrix has 2 column that is 0, 1 and the rows are that is 0, 1 and 2. Now whenever you are doing matrix multiplication at that particular time, column of matrix 1 must match with the rows in the matrix 2. So here we have matrix 1 with the 3 row, 3 columns. We have matrix 2 with the 3 rows and 2 columns. Right. Now, if you look carefully over here, then these are the 3 columns and these are the 3 rows. Now here, see, this matrix is 3 by 3 and this matrix is 3 by 2. Then your matrix multiplication will give you the output of that is row in the first matrix and the column of the second matrix. So your output will be 3 row and 2 columns. Your output will be 3 rows and 2 columns. Now how matrix multiplication will work? Very simple. You want the element that is a 3 row and 2 column. So what are the element we need? We need 0, 1, 2. We need 0 and 1. It means I need the element at 0, 0. Then I need an element at 0, 1. After that, I need the element at 1, 0 and at the 1, 1. I need the element at 2, 0 and I need the element at 2, 1. Why? Because matrix 1 having the 3 rows and the matrix 2 having the 2 columns. So 3 row and 2 columns will be the result. One thing. Second. Number of column in the first matrix and the number of row in the second matrix, if not match, then matrix multiplication is not at all possible. Now, I just want the value at the 0, 0 index. So how we can move ahead? Very simple. So 0 will be the matrix 1 element, right? So you can say that the 0 is the matrix 1 row and this 0 is the matrix 2 column. So your matrix 1 row is the 1, 2, 3 and matrix 2 column is 7, 5 and 3. So whenever you want the 0, 0 output, the 0 row of the matrix 1 will be multiplied with the 0 column of the matrix 2. So how we will proceed? Very simple. It will just make the multiplication of the corresponding element. So 1 will be multiplied with the 7, 1 will be multiplied with the 7 plus 2 will be multiplied with the 5, 2 will be multiplied with the 5, plus 3 will be multiplied with the 3 and you will get the output of 0, 0 location. Now I want the output of 0, 1. It means 0 row of matrix 1 will be multiplied with the 1 column of matrix 2. So 0 row of the matrix 1 is what? 1, 2, 3 and 1 column of matrix 2 is 
that is 6, 4 and 2. So what will be the result? Simple. Corresponding element, element will be multiplied. 1 will be multiplied with the 6, 2 will be multiplied with the 4 and 3 will be multiplied with the 2. Then you will get the output like this. 1 into 6 plus 2 into 4 plus 3 into 2 and you will get the value at 0, 1 location. Now I want the value at the for example that is a 2, 0 location. So if you want the value at the 2, 0 location then the second row of the first matrix. So second row of the first matrix is 7, 8 and 9. Zero column of the first matrix. So it will be 7, 5 and 3. So 7 into 7, 8 into 5 and 9 into 3. So the value will be 7 into 7 plus 8 into 5. 8 into 5 plus 9 into 3. Right. And as a result, you will get the value at 2, 0. Suppose if you think that, sir, I want the value at the 1, 1, then the 1 row of the first matrix. So this will be 4, 5, 6. And 1 column of the second matrix, that will be 6, 4 and 2. So both will be multiplied. So you will get the 1, 1 location that will be 4 into 6 plus 5 into 4 plus 6 into 2 and you will get the value over here. If you want the value at the 1, 0, then the 1 row of the first matrix that is 4, 5, 6 will be multiplied with the 0 column of the second matrix that will be 7, 5, 3 and you will get the easily the result and the corresponding element will be uh, sum of corresponding elements. So what happened? 4 into 7 plus 5 into 5 plus 6 into 3, the value will be available over here and that will be at the 1, 0 location and you will get the result that will be 3 row and 2 column. Why? Because your first matrix size is 3 by 3, second matrix size is 3 by 2. So output will be what? That will be the row of the first matrix will be multiplied with the column of the second matrix. So the result will be the row of the first matrix and the column of the second matrix. So, suppose if you think that, sir, now I understood that how matrix multiplication work on the paper. But now I want to develop the program of the same. So, how we can do this? So, for, from very scratch, what we need to understand? Very simple. Column of the first row must match with the row of the second matrix. That is the thumb rule, right? So, from that particular thing, we will start the programming. So, let's start with the programming first. I'm just assigning this particular program as matrix multiplication. Now, I don't want to do the subtraction. I'm just giving the name that is matrix multiplication. How many rows, how many columns you want of the matrix 1 and matrix 2. The condition will be what? Very simple. If, if the column 1 of a first matrix, it means the variable will be column 1, right? If column 1 of the first matrix not equal to, not equal to, that is a row of the second matrix. I already mentioned over here, that is the column of the first matrix not match with the row of the second matrix. So column not equal to row of the second matrix, then simply we can give the message that the matrix multiplication is not at all possible. If the column 1 not equal to row 2. Now we will simply get the value of the matrix 1. We will get the value of the matrix 2. Now the core funda is over here and that is the logic. Right. So I just need to make the changes in my logic. Instead of subtraction we will print our matrix multiplication variable that will be mul. Right. So the core logic is what? That we will make the changes over here. Right. So very simple. See, whenever you are doing addition, we will do the simple matrix uh, add of i of j is equal to matrix 1 of i of j plus matrix 2 of i of j. But here we cannot do this. Why? Because if you look carefully over here, then what I did, this is my 
that is my row is fixed right so whenever i'm doing the multiplication of 0 0 it means the row of the first matrix is fixed and the column of the second matrix is fixed so whenever you are doing 1 2 3 multiply with the 7 5 3 so what happened your 0 row and 0 column will be fixed Right. So at 0, 0, your 0 row of the first matrix. So what we are doing? Simple. 0, 0, multiply with the 0, 0 first. So your 1 will be multiplied with the 7. Plus, what we are doing? 2 will be multiplied with the 5. So 0, 1 will be multiplied with the 1, 0. That will be 5. Then, plus 0, 2. So, 0, 2 is 3. Multiply with the 2, 0. Why 2, 0? Because 2, 0 is 3. So, if you look carefully over here, then this is your row and column. This is your column, right? This is your row and column. Then, if you look carefully, then the first matrix row is fixed. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 every time. And here, the second matrix column is fixed and to retrieve each and every value that is 0 1 and 2 to retrieve each and every value that is 0 1 and 2 i am using the variable that is 0 1 2 0 1 2 so very simple you all know row is referred to i row is referred to i and the column is referred to j so, in my matrix 1, my i will be fixed. And in matrix 2, in matrix 2, my column will be fixed. Right. So, what I need to do? Simple. Here, if I take one variable which iterates from 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So, if I take one more variable that is k, then k have the value that is 0, 1, 2. k have the value that is 0, 1, 2. So, first matrix i, that is row fix. For element, I am taking one low, uh, one variable that is k. Here, column is fixed. I am just changing the corresponding, that is element value that is using k. So, I just need to take a one more loop over here to re retrieve each and every value. So, I am writing here k equal to 0. k will be run up to what? Number of columns because, see here. First row column will be multiplied with the second row. First matrix column will be multiplied with the second matrix row. So what we can write here? K less than that will be run up to column 1. K plus plus. And now here we can simply write the re result of. Or you can say my multiplication is the variable. So I am writing here multiplication of I of J is equal to. Now, my matrix 1 of I fix will be multiplied with the matrix 2. Now, my J fix. So, first matrix column will be, first matrix row will be fixed. And the second matrix column will be fixed. And here, to retrieve each and every element, you can write the loop K equal to. So, K will do what? That will take the each and every value that is 0, 1, 2. So, your K will be multiplied with the matrix 1 and matrix 2. K is the simple element which retries the value that will be, that is 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2. So, what happened? Your 0, 0 will be multiplied with the 0, 0. That will be 1 multiplied by with the 7. Then, your 0, 1 will be multiplied with the 1, 0. So, 0, 1 is this, that is 2, will be multiplied with the 1, 0, that will be 5. And as a result, you will get the data. But whenever you are doing multiplication at the same time, we are adding this value, right? Plus, plus, plus. So, we can simply write here, that is multiplication of I of J plus equal to matrix 1 of I K multiplied by matrix 2 of K J. You will get the result. You can simply run your loop. But what happened? You need to declare the variable that is K. So, whenever you run this before, you can simply declare the variable k. Now, it will ask me, enter how many rows and how many columns you want. I want the three rows and I want 
the three columns. Then I want the three rows and two columns. So matrix multiplication is possible. Now I'm writing the value that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now I'm writing the matrix 2 value that is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 and 2. And if you look over here, what happens see? This is displaying Y because whenever you run, you need to run up to which value that you need to mention. So, what I need to do? Simple. I This is my matrix 1 that will be run up to row 1 and column 2. This will be run up to row 1 and column 2. Yes, it is correct. But now I cannot write both the matrix at the same row and column. So, I need to display this separately. Right. So, how we can do this? Simple. We can cut this. We can copy this particular thing and you can print over here. Now, we will, whenever we will print the matrix 2, we will run matrix 2 with the row 2 and column 2. Why? Because the row and column may be the different in the matrix multiplication. So, I will run up to matrix to row and column 2, row 2 and column 2 and whenever you are printing your that is matrix multiplication. So in matrix multiplication we know very well that is it has the matrix multiplication has the row of the first matrix and the column of the second matrix. So row 1 and column 2, row 1 and column 2. Now you can run again and you can ask for the how many rows and how many columns you want. I want three rows, three columns in the first matrix. I want three rows and two columns in the second matrix. I am entering the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now I am entering the value that is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 and 2. If you look carefully over here, then this has the two matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Both are multiplied. Now, what is the result? See, 1 plus 7, 7 plus 10, 17 plus 9, it will be 26. So, 26 is coming over here. Yes, it is correct. Now, you can make the calculation over here. That is 6 plus 8, 14. 14 plus 6, it is 20. Yes, 20 is available over here, right? Now, I want to calculate this one. That is 2, 0. So, 7 into 7, it will be 49. 49 plus 40, it will be 89. 89 plus, that is 27. So, 89 plus 27, that will be 116. And it is available over here. Now, I want to prove that is 56 is correct or not, right? So, 56 is available at which location? That is 1, 1. So, the first matrix 1 row, that is 4, 5, 6, will be multiplied with the 1 column, that is 6, 4, 2. So, what will be the output? 4 into 6, 24, plus 5 into 4, that is 20. So, 20 plus 24, 44, plus 6 into 2, that is 12. So, 44 plus 12, it is 56. And yes, it is correct. So, you can say that the matrix multiplication is perfect. And... You can do the simple matrix multiplication using this particular loop and you will get the better output. Now I want to match with the calculation that I did earlier and that calculation was what? That enter how many matrix, uh, how many rows, two rows, two columns, in matrix two, two rows, two columns, value is 10, 20, 30, 40. The value of the second matrix is 2, 3, 4 and 5. And if you look carefully over here, then I am getting exactly the same result that I did on the paper. That is 100, 130, 220 and 290. And the same result is available over here. And that is 100, 130 and 290. So, you can do the work like this. So that's it from my side. This is all about the matrix addition, subtraction and multiplication.